Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to combine multiple CSV files into one CSV file with command prompt and load the data into SQL tables in this case. So first of all, I will show my source document. I have three source documents, all these are in CSV format. So if you open the data, it with Notepad++. Plus plus. So there are four, four columns, ID, name, gender and country and three records in, in first CSV file. Whereas when it comes to person1.csv, four columns and two records and person2 also four columns and two records. So total seven records are there. Total, I want to load all these the data into the uh, SQL tables. So for that, we regularly, some exercise is called you know, dragging the for each loop container and creating the two variables, uh, writing some expressions to get the connection string. Uh, all this, we regularly, and at the time of the loading, the multiple CSV files or text files or the CSV, uh, Excel files. But in this, in this case, uh, I am not doing like that. I, am, I want to combine the data from all these uh, three files that is total seven records into one csv file and uh, load the data but before that uh, by using the command prompt to write some uh, one copy command you, you can combine all this data into one csv file so for that you need to uh, open the first command so generally we use to open the search and uh, type the cmd in the command prompt and enter so command prompt will open with the default admin path c users admin but here we need to work on specifically on this folder for that you just click the folder write command enter Path will change. So see here earlier we have C users admin path. Now the see the path here, the path where all my uh, CC files are placed. See D files and data. Now you need to write one copy command. So, copy. So here you have only CC files are there, no more text and Excel. Only CSV files exist in this path. Copy star dot star dot CSV. So that means it will copy all the CSV files from this particular folder and paste and it will give one more one more file name. So I want to create file name with name called all dot csv so by this command a new file all dot csv will be created after combining the all the data from the three folders i just enter see here one files are copied see earlier we don't know all now you can see the all just right click and open with notepad so you will observe the same data from the three uh, csv documents but you observe the header uh, header columns are repeated uh, there are three documents are there and three head, header columns will come so before that we need to delete the header columns for the rest of the csv files i will keep the person uh, as it is edit with notepad again so uh, I want to keep this as this and uh, I want to delete the rest of the file. two CSV files header columns. Save it. Person.csv. Delete. Save. So now I remove the header columns. Again, you have to write the same copy command. I already created the all. 
as all that says okay. now it will create one more and open the file with the notepad see here so everything is perfect so data from three csv files are combined into one by just writing the copy command in cmd prompt now from this onwards it's very it's very irregular process we have to drag the data flow task into control pane so double click to configure so since my data is from the csv file i am taking the flat file source to read the data so this is a simple trick and easy to load the multiple csv files from the just by using the copy command new but one drawback in this x is if you if you place the fourth csv file it will not read we combine the data only three csv files so at the time you again create the one more copy command and put the csv file and delete the head column of the fourth on csv file so for each loop container and creating the variable is the perfect uh, dynamic one to read the data from multiple files you get the uh, new file in the same path it will pick because we created the uh, connection string by using the expression so here i am taking the all now i am click to uh, check the columns and advance everything is okay and click okay now i am dragging the void db destination double click then created one table person underscore info uh, id name gender and country i want to load the data into that table sample is my database person info mapping so everything is mapped automatically click ok so all set now after running the package the data from this file this all uh, all dot csv will loaded into the person info underscore here all seven so load from the single uh, all went to the destination so go and check your table if there all seven records from three uh, csv files are loaded into this table so again i am uh, repeating first you have to create the command prompt and place all your um, csv files into one folder remove the header columns uh, except for first one uh, remove the header column for the uh, remaining csv files and uh, um, enter the command um, from the same path it will open like this afterwards you need to write one copy command copy space star dot csv space all all are it's your new csv file name so you give in that name so one file will created after executing this copy command from then onwards everything is a regular process in the data flow task Uh, creating the flat file connection manager and uh, oldb destination and load the data so this is how you need to load the data whenever there are combined csv files are there uh, this is the easy and simple process to load the data uh, with, without having creating any variables and for each loop containers and expressions uh, what we did regularly but one drawback i already told 
whenever there is a new csv file is came into the same path it will not read again you have to you have to create one more one more copy command and to get to, to combine all new csv file data also thanks for watching the video thank you very much